evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I was challenged by a friend of mine. She likes pinks and white uh, together. So I thought I would try out one of my ring pour swipes. Um, so I'm going to use a couple of colors that she gave me to use off of the rainbow kind of colors and using a white and pink as the ring core, uh, ring pour colors. So I'm going to try those out and then do some swiping through it. I might change up the swipe too. Normally I would just kind of do chaos, all the colors and then swipe through it. Maybe I'll swipe doing just the colors and swipe through this. I don't know going through my head, trying to think about it. So let's get down to the canvas. I'll make my decision once I get down there. All right, let's be right back. Hey guys, so what I'm gonna do today is I've got a 16 by 20 deep edge gallery rock canvas. This is gonna be one of the ring pour swipes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two ring pours here in the center, and then I'm just gonna do a swipe and maybe another swipe using colors. But normally I would chaos pour the colors all over. This time I'm going to put them in um, in a sequence of colors. So, so I'm only going to do a ring pour with two colors. It's going to be my titanium white and my quinacridone rose. This is going to be real fun because I've never really just used a pink and a white before. But we're just going to layer back and forth. As you can see, I painted my uh, sides and edges with my quinacridone rose. That way I wouldn't have the um, transparent edges. All right, so my first ring pour is gonna go right here. I'm left-handed I'm just gonna turn this around Got a lot of block of pink there by itself, so I'm just kind of bringing some white into it. All right, I'm gonna put just a little bit of some white around here, the edges, so my paint can flow. So my first color I'm gonna put out is Dioxazine purple. Some pyro red. Some azo orange.
primary yellow. Metallic cobalt blue. Now I think I'm gonna use my black cell activator because that is gonna probably give me the best result. All I'll be doing is putting black cell activator on the back. And then I'm gonna flip it over and swipe up through there. See right there? Just gonna coat the back of my knife, palette knife here. Let it get all the way to the edge. And then I come all the way back forward. Just let it run off like so. All right, here we go. See how this, the cell activator carried through. This is really cool, guys. When you start off your swipe, you have the most cell activator and it starts over here on the end. A lot of times what I can do is I can kind of drag the end of it through the rest of the painting. So what I'll do is I'll just press lightly and extend it. And this side will go off. We're gonna keep that, that purple. All right, everyone, I have to say I'm not thrilled with this. I do not really care for this metallic cobalt blue in this, so I am going to re-pour. All right, guys, I am going to redo this with only one ring pour, and I'm going to leave out the metallic cobalt blue. All right, so let's do a ring pour right in the center this time.
This time, what I would like to do is do a little wreckage. Add some color just to this section over here. Okay, so definitely outside my comfort zone for colors. Pink, ooh, 
Not always an easy color to play with, but I did maintain all of my swipe colors. I got my purple, my red, my orange, and my yellow. Got rid of the um, metallic cobalt blue. Still got some of that swipe, but the small one that I did up here, this is swooping down through here, so I'm digging it. All right, I'm gonna um, clean up the edges here, and then I'll bring you guys in. All right, guys, so here we are with the wet result. So I'm digging the composition with the swipe and the swoop. The pink is way outside my comfort zone, but I was able to salvage it with the second pour. guys that's gonna do it so this one gave me a little bit of a trouble these colors and how the swipe was going didn't go with the way I wanted to with having two ring pours that's okay though you can always think on your feet you can always do a second pour the dogs are barking um, a lot of times you know if you don't like what you've done you don't necessarily have to scrape all the paint off your canvas um, you can just pour right over top of it and tilt it out and the colors will still be your new paint colors will be what's left. So, um, and just FYI, I'm paint. I took all that paint that was on the table, scraped it off into a bucket. So now I've got a brand new um, base color or flow extender. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're still trying to play with our time slot on Wednesday. I'm not sure where we're gonna go with it, but thank you so much for bearing with us. We will get this narrowed down here, hopefully soon. All right, everyone, I'll see you on uh, Sunday. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.